Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I am doing a magical haul. That's right, so recently I went to the grand opening of Gringotts Wizarding Bank at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. And of course, I raided the shop. Now what's really cool is they actually have redone their shop and it, it's like two times as big as it used to be. And I was like, wow. In fact, if you have seen my vlog from the event, you can see that I'm a bit like, oh my goodness, what have they done? It's really, really cool. They have upped their shop game, let me tell you. So today I'm gonna be doing a haul because I spent a lot of Gringotts coins at the Gringotts event and I ended up coming away with not one, but two bags. I cannot wait to show you guys what I bought from the shop. So without further ado, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because, ah, I've forgotten what I've bought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna start with this little bag here. Can we talk about this bag for a moment? Because they have, obviously on the back, it says the Water Brothers Studio Tour London, the making of Harry Potter, but oh, they've made it look like the Daily Prophet. And oh, it's so gorgeous. Look at this, Death Eater numbers grow. Uh, so in the little bag, I have got a few things. One of them was gifted, which I think I will talk about first, just to get it out of the way. So attending this event, on your way out, you do get goodie bags, which I always like scream at and like nearly cry at, because I'm like, oh my God, I wasn't expecting this. So we got this bag that actually says the Bank of Gringotts on there. So it's like a little swag bag that I can fill with so many Gringotts coins. All of my galleons can go in this sack and I can put it into my vault at Gringotts. So yeah, we got given one of these little bags. And inside there was, firstly there was this postcard and it's got Warwick Davis and some of the other Gringotts Bank goblins on there. And it says, thank you for visiting Gringotts Wizarding Bank, Noof 2019. It is now fully open by the way, so if you wanna book tickets, you can do it. It's not sponsored, but yeah. <laughs> so here we go, we've got some Bertie Bots, every flavor beans. These can go straight onto my Honeyduke shelf, which is up here somewhere. I like these for display purposes. I don't really like eating them because I never know which ones are vomit flavored or not. If you've ever tried one of those, you know why I want to avoid them. But the packaging is beautiful. So thank you very much, Warner Brothers Studio Tour. The other thing, so we didn't just get a big Gringotts bag. Look how cute these are. Now you can buy these in the shop at the studio tour and they are a tiny little bag that says the Bank of Gringotts on there and inside, let me show you, I'm surprised I haven't eaten these yet, there is <gasps> chocolate Gringotts coins and they're not just standard coins, they do actually say Gringotts Bank on there, on the other side it does say Galleon so they are true to what they are and look at all, I'm so rich. <laughs> so that was very kind of the studio tour to give everybody a little gift bag and I'm going to remember that evening because it was a very, very good night. Let's move on to the things that I actually spent my own personal Gringotts coins on. I'm gonna start with this little bag. I have wanted these for so long for my shelves. It is a little jar of you know poo. So I, I believe they're milk chocolate Smarties kind of things. Coated, decorated milk chocolate, yeah. So they're just green ones. I didn't buy these to eat. I'm sure some of you will be like, why, why have you bought candy if you're not gonna eat them? <laughs> I wanted to put these on my my, either my Honeydukes shelf or I think I want to put them on my Weasley's Wizard Weasley's shelf, I think. I really like it. It says, the constipation sensation. That's gripping the nation. <laughs> Fabulous. So this jar of you know poo cost me seven pounds. I'm looking forward to displaying it. Let's move on because I've got many more things in the big daily profit bag. Dumbledore's little face. He doesn't look very happy. Okay. Oh God. Lucky dip. Okay, so I treated myself to a t-shirt. Now, I'm not normally attracted to the kind of dark arts sections of the shops because I'm not a Slytherin. Not a Slytherin. Slytherin. Not all Slytherins are Death Eaters, Cherry. My father will hear of this. I don't know, but I bought something that was quite dark and 
I'm pleased that I did. I really like this t-shirt. Here it is. It says Borgin and Burks, Nocturne Alley, London. I just really liked it. I don't have a lot of stuff surrounding Borgin and Burks. I love the design. I love the font and it's black and it's, oh, look how cute it is. So this t-shirt cost £20. It is extremely soft and I got mine in a size medium because I quite like them to be a little bit baggier than usual. I don't like things to be like, you know, fitting. <laughs> so yeah, this is the t-shirt that I got. What do you guys think? Do you have this yourself? Yeah, I really like it. It's so soft. Now, I of course had to get some other things that were themed around Gringotts as it was the grand opening of Gringotts Wizarding Bank. And I found this absolutely adorable coin purse, Gringotts coin purse, galleon purse. So it's made out of this kind of canvas material and it has these kind of black edgings and it's metallic print on there. You kind of see it shining around and it's just one of those little clasp purses and then inside it is just that color and there's quite a lot of space for coins. So this costs 10 pounds and I am going to use this to keep all of my spare change in because I'm always needing change for car parks or should I say broom parks but yeah so I treated myself I couldn't resist I was like it says Gringotts on it I want it and I want to treat myself to things Gringotts themed to remember this evening of course I couldn't go to the Warner Brothers studio tour shop without coming away with some enamel pin badges <laughs> so the first one that I treated myself to which was £5.95 which isn't bad for pin prices because pins just in general Disney pins Harry Potter pins they can be quite expensive and this one was actually quite reasonable. This is a kind of, I don't know what it's made out of, but it's the Gringotts Bank logo. So you have a little goblin head and then a G. I really wanted this as a, a memory pin. You guys know I have special pins and then pins that I just like. This is definitely a memory pin. So I bought it for that purpose and I really liked it. I'd never seen these before. Now I did treat myself to a slightly more kind of special pin, <laughs> more expensive pin. And I have been eyeing this one up for a couple of years, uh, at least a year. I remember seeing it maybe two Hogwarts in the Snows ago. <laughs> and it is this one, it's Umbridge. I feel as though I have a thing for Umbridge themed items now, which is weird because I cannot stand Dolores Umbridge. I hate her with a passion as we all should. So this is a kind of ribbon and then it has enamel, well not enamel, they're kind of like metal cat plates. There's three of them and the cats are so cute. Uh, it's actually quite a heavy pin. It's probably the heaviest pin that I own. And this was 14 pounds, 95. I know it's quite steep for a pin but I've wanted it for a long time and I decided to bite the bullet. I didn't just get one pin, I didn't get two pins, I treated myself to three pins. I have a problem. <laughs> so I saw this pin that I'd never seen before and it's a Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald pin. It's like this Niffler pin. I don't even know how it's made because it's not soft enamel and it's not hard enamel. It's kind of printed. This cost eight pounds, which is kind of the average price for most pins, I'd say. It's got the main Niffler and look at look at him. It's like what me me on a pin and it's got baby Nifflers as well. I just liked it. I liked the material it was made out of and I'm obsessed with Nifflers. I couldn't leave it there. I'd never seen a pin like this before and yep that's going straight onto my pin board. The next thing that I purchased I have wanted for so long I didn't know that they made these so as soon as I saw basically now that they've opened the Gringotts Wizarding Bank they now have a Gringotts section in their shop and I was just like oh it's amazing and the first thing that I beelined for was this Look, I've stolen something from Bellatrix's vault. This is a bank of Gringotts gold bar. It's really heavy. I'm not sure what it's made out of. It's it's cold, so I kind of want to say metal, but I guess it could be resin as well. It's very metallic. This cost 15 pounds, so I spent my galleons to buy gold. I, I spent money on money, basically. <laughs> I love this. I cannot wait to put it on my shelves. I'm thinking of doing a Gringotts themed section on my shelves because I have a few free at the top that aren't filled with anything yet. Look at it. I love it so much. Ah, I'm gonna do many Instagrams with this. Really excited. I think this is one of my favorite things that I found in the shop this time. I did a naughty thing and bought something quite expensive. <laughs> I was not meant to be spending 
a lot at this shop, but what can I say? I couldn't resist. The shop was new and they had this section where they had all the Hogwarts robes, which was wonderful, all of the Hogwarts uniforms. And in the middle, there was this table with loads of Danielle Nicole bags. I'd never seen her bags in person. I have seen them online where she does the little backpacks with like the uniform on and she had night bus bags and ones with Deathly Hallows on and little clutch purses. They are beautiful. And then I saw it. <laughs> I saw this bag and I was just like, no way. <laughs> I need it, I couldn't leave without it. It was one of those things. So this was a very much treat yourself moment. This was a treat yourself moment and a half. This is my new bag. Ah, look at it! It's the Monster Book of Monsters and it has this kind of gold chain with a, what I hope is a faux leather strap and it's gold all around there and it's actually furry and it has eyes and it says the monster book of monsters in gold embroidery oh my goodness i just wow what a statement bag as a potter head like just walking around with my monster book of monsters like okay yeah i lied when i said that the gold bar was my favorite thing because i forgot about this this is my favorite thing that i've purchased in a very long time i just think it's beautiful so on the back there you go it says danielle nicole she does sell these online i think I'm not sure, I think she must sell this one online as well, but I had only seen this in the studio tour for the first time and that's why I picked it up. I thought this one was such a statement piece. I just really loved it. I think the next magical event I go to, I am so gonna wear this on my shoulder. You know, I haven't even opened this yet. Oh, it says Danielle Nicole on the little zipper. Uh, let's have a little look, see inside, see how much space it has. Just take those out. Oh. That's so cute. Inside it says Harry Potter, Danielle Nicole. It's got a lot of space. I could fit my purse, my phone, lots of other things in there. So yeah, it was a naughty treat yourself purchase. Do I regret it? Absolutely not because look at that. What do you guys think of this bag? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's everything that I purchased from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. They did give me a lot of bookmarks. I'm not sure I really needed this many, but I guess I can give them to friends and family if they want them. So it's got their Enter Gringotts kind of promotion on there. If you guys have not entered Gringotts yet, I definitely recommend going to the studio tour, maybe for the first time or for a revisit because so much has changed. Like I was quite overwhelmed. The studio tours, it's almost like a second home to me now. And if I was overwhelmed with the change, a lot of you guys will be as well. It's definitely worth another trip. <gasps> Okay, I'm surrounded by magical things that I need to go and find magical homes for. I hope you enjoyed this video. What was your favorite thing that I purchased this time? I would love to know. Leave your answers in the comments down below and I will try and answer as many of you as possible. Thank you for watching and I guess I will see you very soon in my next video.